passed the test. I was granted the truth. I have the answer with me. What did I do wrong? No, 37. None of this was your fault. Hysteria has come to this island, and people are caught up in it. It is the Storm Syndrome, taking the form of war. Has it been six hours since we entered the cave? What a strange dream. It lasted longer than I thought. is bad. The plan we have with Zeno. Thirty-seven. I have to go. I have to find Sophia. Thirty-seven. Have you passed the test? On what question did you seek its knowledge? And what answer did it give you? Six, weren't you going to perform the cleansing ceremony? And Sophia, she... Please come up to me, Miss Verton. I wish to have a word with you. Fifty strides from here, on the semicircle square, you will find your friends and the rest of our people. I have done as much cleansing as I could. If nothing goes wrong, they will regain consciousness soon. May I know what happened during the cleansing ceremony? 37 and I each had a bizarre dream after the earthquake. Did everyone on the island fall asleep too? The island's order is forged by our faith. And now that faith has been broken, that is all there is to it. What did you say? Upon our arrival, I sensed a large-scale ritual surrounding the island. Is that the circle you kept talking about? Was it broken during the ceremony? No, the ceremony was just a ceremony. It was never the source of our faith. Our journey was ended by the same thing that began it, Miss Verton. Which is the truth. doth not surprise me. The wise so blinded by their pursuit of knowledge, they often neglect the harshness of reality. A common downfall of the contemplative. Pray tell, in the midst of such overwhelming destruction, where has their vaunted wisdom gone? And what good does it bring in this final hour? I 
I can hear thy weeping and bellowing within, Miss Sophia. Many a time you have knelt at the Temple of Truth, devoted yourself, prayed for your people, and withstood the tribulations set upon you, all for the betterment of others. Thy character is without reproach. Yet the truth has never deemed you worthy, has it? No, that's not! You shall be granted a greater opportunity. A blessing that befits thy devotion. No, that's a violation of the scripture. We shouldn't. The scripture? Yet you were never truly counted as one of them, do you not agree? as evidenced by the decision that Truth hath made. <laughs> no one escapes their fate, as ever. Understand. I know the answer given to Mama was right. The transcendental law is gone and the supreme existence is in chaos. This caused our model to fail and allowed the discord in the phenomenal world to affect the essence of things. But did the truth really fall apart? Chaos is also a form of truth, is it not? Just like how irrational numbers are numbers. Despite our dislike of them, they still exist and cannot be denied. This become the destruction of our people's faith. You will hear no answer from me, 37, for that is not the question of your attention. Do you still remember what you answered to me in the cave? That would be enough, then. Don't waste your time on the collapse of the faith. Don't question yourself because others think differently. Walk on, onto the path you have chosen. You have done nothing wrong. Miss Verton, I'm afraid I must trouble you for a favor. As you can see, I can hardly take part in this matter for any longer. Should the situation turn for the worse, 
please take 37 to safety and assist her in decoding the numbers. <gasps> you have my word. We are born facing a choice. Either we restrain ourselves and strive for harmony and discipline, or succumb to destruction fueled by passion and madness. Though the former may be challenging, the latter will only plunge us into eternal darkness. From one to ten, each number has its moral purpose and mission. Among them, only six was chosen to be the leader. Because six stands for balance. Yes, we must pay heed to the balance between passion and reason, so as to stay on the right path and not be led astray by the calling of our blood. For generations, we committed ourselves to the scripture and stayed true to what we pledged. We left the trivialities and troubles of the phenomenal world behind and served the supreme existence with the fruits of our knowledge. This kind of faith was how the island prospered, and it was the source of our salvation. Through diligent practice and contemplation, we managed to remain secluded and independent from the rest of the world. The irrational numbers that your people rarely appreciate they faced with a different path, a path of passion and madness. We have been long isolated from the outside world by one emanation after another. Four years ago, we tried to seek proof in the outside world, but failed. We regrettably lost some of our best scholars and friends in the process. However, it was not the failed attempt that led to this upsetting situation, but a crisis from within. Now with our ship capsized and our scale fallen, I am no longer able to reconcile the tilt of people's hearts and souls. We will be divided. The fanatics from the foreign lands can finally spread their hatred amongst the ruins of our shattered beliefs. I will stop Manus Vindicte. Forget not your promise, Miss Verton. Six, we came to bid you farewell. Everything happened here proves you to be an incapable leader. Your preachings of moderation and reconciliation were nothing but excuses for cowardice. Where were you when the humans dropped bombs on us? What did your cleansing do to help us? If those virtues are meant to be the virtues of an integer, then I would prefer to be a fraction. The integers were unconscious during the attack because the ceremony was... Out of my way, 37. You knew nothing about what happened. You were in that cave having fun with your little games. The envoy from Manus Vindicte was right. We have grown too complacent on the island and have forgotten how to fight. We foolishly believed that staying out of conflicts would guarantee us everlasting peace. Open your eyes to the humans' atrocities against us. How can we not seek revenge for our spilled blood? We must act and reclaim what was taken from ours. That is the true meaning of salvation.
It is true that I was absent earlier, but please listen to me. Everything will get better because I already have the truth with me. The truth? What good will it do right now? Will it drive out the humans? Will it reclaim our home? Will it bring back our deceased friends? Pasastas ortas gonias isas alilesine. What salvation did your truth bring when steel pierced our chests? Manus Vindicte granted us the power to fight back. What did the Foundation do? Don't waste your time with these integers. The Foundation's envoy is here. It is clear they have taken the side of the humans. Kill the envoy, cut off her head, and bring it to our mother! What? You... The mask has robbed them of reason. There's no point in talking further. Take six to safety, 37. I'm the one they are after. Then how are you going to... I will meet with Sinetto at the square. Miss Radio is with them, and we will contact our people from there. Don't worry. We had a plan against the Manus and we can still carry it out. Now, on my mark, 